The term woke has obviously been hijacked by conservative media and is blatantly overused mainly to criticize diverse casting in media. Are there any movies that you guys would actually consider woke in a way that actively detracts from your viewing experience and what makes a movie actually woke in your eyes? I feel like this, yeah, this kind of goes in tandem with what we're talking about there. Where it's like, what are we talking about? What does it mean? Like, it There's, seems like it just means whatever you want it to mean based on what your audience capture is. Woke, woke <laughs> just means left leaning is all it means. But there's nothing that's been bad because it's left leaning. There's been b- things that are bad because it's insincere, right? So yeah, something you, you can say the Barbie movie is woke, right? But it still works because it doesn't feel completely insincere, right? So something there, there's tons of examples of you know the insincere. Uh, inclusions in some Disney movies where it's like, okay, there's like a a character that like says she's gay for one second and then they they cut it out for Russia and China. That's insincerity. Mm -hmm. That's the issue with it. It's not the fact that there's a gay character in it. It's the fact that it's insincere, right? So that that we don't even need to use the word woke to describe what's wrong with it. It's the insincerity. And that's an issue regardless of whether or not something is left-leaning or political. Like insincerity is bad in any movie <laughs> when when I don't believe that what they're showing me is coming from a real place that sucks regardless that sucks when it's just a bad horror movie with no political uh, implications at all right so yeah that's my similar assessment too it seems like it's most often used to just describe something that yeah it's like badly written or uh, sucks but instead of just saying that it's like, oh, there's at least one minority in the cast, so I guess it's woke. Like, what does that mean? I don't get what their what their problem is. Is that gay people exist? People of different races exist. What is the issue with that? Like, it, I, I don't get the <laughs> how to disconnect those things with the way it's used. Because you Google like I, earlier, I was like trying to find okay, what are the movies that are most commonly known as being woke? And yeah, it's like Lightyear because of the kiss. Ghostbusters 2016, which is it's just a shitty comedy. Like it's just badly written, badly made. There's so much. Yeah, Barbie. You said Strange World. That's another one that's often in these like YouTube shorts propped up as like, look, so Disney went woke and because of it they went broke because of Strange World having a gay character and another fact that it just looked insanely generic, had bad marketing was not an interesting looking film so people didn't see it like yeah i don't know it feels like people just projecting this onto it yeah you could you could describe movies like everything everywhere all at once or parasite as being woke that they're just not insincere movies and that's why they work <laughs> it's really not that complicated yeah. I, I don't know why people don't mm-hmm. understand i don't know <laughs> the fact that it's yeah you still see it like I don't know. I, I feel like the, the term SJW felt more like it was restrained to the internet. But now you see it on TV, they're arguing about wokeness. They're talking about like wokeness in like parliament in my country and stuff like this. It's like... Oh, it's funny. What are we, to- what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> because it, I heard, um, I think it was Chris Reagan brought up this awesome point on this note where he was talking about Seinfeld, how it, mm. was, uh, it was mandated that the Julia Louise Dreyfus character needed to be added because the cast wasn't diverse enough. Mm-hmm. But in adding her, they almost objectively made the show better. She, she's the best one of the four. She's the funniest of the four, maybe arguably against George. Mm-hmm. But that made the show better. And if it was made better because of wokeness, does does that mean? What does that mean? It just means it's pointless. Well, it, it exactly, right? Like, so the inverse would be if her character sucked, <laughs> then then it would be like if, let's say, we had the exact same media echo chamber infrastructure audience capture thing going on during Seinfeld being a new show, then that would be like an example of, oh, woke killed this. I was like, no, it's the insincerity that killed it. <laughs> you just You can still have a well-written character. So yeah, it's just if it's well made or not. Like, who was complaining about? Well, like, you can't even say that anymore because people were complaining about Spider Verse or like Arcane, Game of Thrones. Even you could say is woke, but it's like no one says that just because you like it and you think it's interesting and well written. Like, <laughs> it's it's a very easy way to assign blame while also giving treats 
to your audience that want to hear a very specific type of thing to tie it into larger cultural issues or a larger frame of, framing of thinking about the world. And it's an easy way to do that without actually engaging with what's happening in the media <laughs> or trying to mm -hmm. go into what makes something work in a piece of media. It's a really easy way to just assign a label onto something without engaging with it. Is It's really that simple. Yeah. And it's just frustrating that all the biggest conversations, it seems culturally about film, but always through that lens. It's like never about the actual interesting things about the film. It's just always that one thing all the time. And it's like no one even knows what we're talking about. It's like it's a meaningless parrot word. Yeah. It's normie shit now. Yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck Pierce Martin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs>